Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. This week, our lectionary reading that we're taking a look at is found in the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles, uh, chapter 19, some of the early verses. Now, I've mentioned before uh, that unfortunately I'm cursed to be a Philadelphia Eagles fan. Um, this year we're having a particularly rough year, and uh, and Coach Doug Peterson, um, even though just a, a couple of years ago won a Super Bowl in Philly, is now sort of under fire because uh, the Eagles have been very disappointing this year. And uh, his plight um, brings to, to mind the plight of all uh, head football coaches in the NFL, um, which is that uh, no matter what you've done in the past, it's always sort of, what have you done for me lately? And, uh, and, and you can't rest on your laurels uh, for past achievements that, uh, you know, the success of your team must be continual and ongoing for you to continue to be employed. And I mentioned this because, uh, well, I thought about this in reading some of these verses where Paul, uh, in the community at Ephesus, it says, had laid his hands on them, some of the believers, and the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. And we might tend to think, well, this was you know, great. Um, the Holy Spirit came on these believers. Uh, they, there was an impact. They spoke in tongues and prophesied, did some cool and wonderful things. And well, that was uh, the end of it. But of course, uh, that's not the case. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, the coming of the Holy Spirit uh, is not a one-shot deal, but something that is meant to guide our lives on a continual basis. And uh, Presumably, these believers uh, that Paul had laid his hands on uh, continued to grow and evolve and live in the Spirit. Indeed, uh, Paul, uh, as we know from, from history and from the Scriptures, uh, spent a great deal of time in Ephesus. He, uh, he uh, taught there for a couple of years, and the, these believers uh, also were influenced by other uh, teachers, but uh, they, they're evolution as people of faith uh, continued uh, to grow and 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 you know if Paul left the community and came back uh, two or three years later uh, hopefully he would find that these believers were continuing to prophesy and speak in tongues and do all kinds of other things uh, influenced by the life of the Spirit uh, although we hear about this one time event we know that these believers li lives that their stories indeed uh, continued. And the same should be true for us. I think so many times in, in our churches, in our faith communities, in the, in the life of Christians, things like sacraments uh, are, are one-shot deals. You know, kids are baptized and we never see the families again. Or kids go through confirmation as teenagers, they get confirmed and, and boom, uh, that's the end of it. Um, but the reality is, is that baptism or confirmation or, or, or uh, accepting Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, those things are not the end of the story. They're supposed to be the beginning, and they're supposed to lead us to, to continually uh, grow as people of faith and live in the Spirit. Uh, that is, I think, what Paul's intention was for these early Christians in Ephesus, and that is the, the intent for us, all of us, who, are, uh, who call ourselves baptized uh, Christians, that we live life in the Spirit. And when we say life in the Spirit, it, it means what it says, life. Amen.